Look at this. You have this village with these houses, lights, and rain, and these waves crashing into the coast. Well, UPEI hopes that all this has answers to the big questions around how to protect PEI's shoreline. It's really a big step for our lab for, you know, for research in this climate center. The miniature village sits inside what looks like a gigantic fish tank here at UPEI's Climate Smart Lab. Water crashes against the shoreline and researchers can create heavy rainfall from sprinklers while a machine creates waves. We were all so excited to see that happening and I think uh, this will provide you know, a foundation for us to move forward, not only about research but also teaching for our students here and also public engagement so that uh, everybody can understand the potential risk we are facing. Researchers can even switch out the model shorelines to see how big waves hit different types of shores, from human-made rock walls to natural grassy coastlines and exposed areas. The point is to test real conditions. Every splash is measured by cameras to see exactly how water hits the shore. Based on these modules, we can actually make some modifications in this tank to to really show if you do this protection, maybe the wave will be distributed to the other side or maybe you can slow down the wave. Uh, maybe you can, you, can, you can protect this area from a uh, wave runoff. I think that's something which you seem, uh, I think it's the most important part when it comes to coastal hazards, coastal erosion protection. Researchers hope this project will show them how to protect against erosion and which type of shorelines are better shields. Then that information would go to provincial and municipal governments. And we're also vulnerable to the impact of climate change. So it's really very important for us to understand the coastal dynamics so that we, uh, we can help better uh, increase the coastal resilience. Wong and the Climate Smart Lab hope to take the experiments to the real island shore soon and test some of the research in provincial parks. Cody McKay, CBC News, St. Peter's Bay.